I'd like to um, show the importance or the value of using um, headings and really taking advantage of uh, a template. And this is uh, the dissertation template here. And I want to show you, you notice right now, it has all of the aspects of it. It has the contents, abstract, all of that. But on the left side here, in the navigation menu, there's nothing. Um, which isn't a problem now, because this is a pretty empty dissertation. But, if I highlight the word contents there, and then click on chapter title, you'll notice what happens on the left side. Contents is added, so it shows that um, that is part of this uh, document, a section in the document. I'm just going to go to the next page there, abstract, and I'll click on chapter title. Then I'm going to go to list of illustrations, do the same thing. And on the left side, I start to build kind of a, a skeleton of my um, dissertation. Of course, this is, this is all the um, kind of pre-work. It's not really even getting into the chapters yet, but we will in a second here. Okay, we got acknowledgments too. Sorry, that takes a while. And hopefully we're getting, here we go, the introduction. So this is the introductory chapter. I'm going to click there. Now for the introduction, um, according to the guidelines, um, at least the guidelines at CIU, the introduction needs to have one, two, three, four, five, six parts. Rationale and need, research problem, limitations, etc. Now you notice that there's all this work that's been done on the, on the introduction, but it's not in the right format. Now watch what happens. If I highlight a paragraph here, and I click on body text, it jumps to the correct formatting for body text. It's indented, half an inch, it's, it's double spaced. So I'm just going to highlight all of this typing in this uh, introductory section because that's really all body text for now. There we go. And now it's formatted correctly. And so I'm going to insert. So the next thing that CIU wants is the rationale and need. So I'm just going to type rationale and need there. Now this is not going to be a chapter title because it's part of a chapter. So instead of chapter title, I'm going to click over here, sublevel heading one. And right there, it's changed the, the correct to, to the correct formatting, rationale and need, sublevel heading one. And if you look over here on the left side, introduction is the name of the chapter, and then you see there's a sublevel there, rationale and need. Now here, this is supposed to be a block quote. So a block quote is more than five lines or more than 100 words, according to Chicago style. So I'm going to highlight what should be a block quote. And I'm, I'll just click up here on the block quote formatting. And boom, it changes to uh, single spaced. There should be a space at the end there. Single spaced, everything is indented on the left side for a block quote, which is perfect, which is what it needs to look like. I'm just going to do that. Okay. like that. There we go. There's my block quote. Now let's say after rationale and need, I need to add, um, well, let's say I need to add research problem. I'll type research problem, highlight it, go over here, sub-level one, and now we have rationale and need, then research problem. I'm just going to keep going. The next one is limitations. I'll type limitations. Highlight it, sublevel heading one, and we keep adding to our um, document skeleton there. Limitations, definition of terms, highlight it, and it'll make it the right formatting for me. Very good. And I need to do another section. Uh, let's see, methodology. Oh, it's literature review. Need to do the literature review section, sublevel heading one, and then need another section, um, methodology. Just like that. And you see, I start to build my um, the, the outline. Now, if I go down here, I believe I have the next chapter going. That should be a new page. I don't know why that's not a new page. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go insert, break page break, start a new page. 
chapters always start on a new page and I'm going to highlight it and I'll hit chapter title and there we go chapter one is there and then chap and then the same for the appendix we can do that because that's a chapter title level and I believe we have bibliography down here too highlight that chapter title just like that it needs to be up higher it needs to be on its own page insert page break now I gotta do it again because it got messed up somehow there we go all right so let's go back to our introduction for a second and if you don't like scrolling like this which I really don't like now that you have your parts inserted over here I can click on this and it will jump to the section that I need to look at now right now my document is short this is just a sample but imagine that you have a couple hundred pages even 300 pages 400 pages you can see how useful it would be to have an outline along the left side where you can just jump from section to section otherwise you're going to be scrolling and, and really struggling to find the section that you want to look at now let's jump up here to rationale and need for a second and let's just imagine that underneath rationale and need I have other sublevel uh, headings that I want so let's say that I want to put um, theological rationale. Now this is under rationale and need, so it's not going to be sublevel heading one, it will be sublevel heading two. And if I click on that, it automatically changes it to the correct sublevel heading style. And if you look over here on the left side, now underneath rationale and need, I have theological rationale. I'm going to add another one. I'll add. Um, sociological rationale and I'm going to click sublevel heading 2 and it uh, adds it right up here and if you have even further sublevel headings you can um, I have sublevel heading 3 4 and I believe 5 is also programmed in the dissertation template so uh, your outline uh, builds and builds and builds and then as you write you can uh, navigate through your document over here on the left side very easily. All right, I hope this helps. Um, as you prepare your dissertation, I hope it saves time and I hope it uh, keeps it organized and moving forward well. All right, thank you.